In this video, you will see how to implement the Shimmer library by Facebook. For those of you who do not know what Shimmer is, it is a loading animation that you might have seen in all major applications like Netflix and so on. Get the latest Shimmer library dependency from this page and paste it in your app level Gradle file. Click on sync now. The first thing that you need is the Shimmer layout itself. I've created a new XML file and named it Shimmer underscore layout. Here, you can create a layout similar to the one that will be displayed when the data is loaded. For example, if the data looks like this, the shimmer layout should look like this. Give the background of these views in this layout as light grey. In the main layout, we'll create a view called shimmer frame layout. Inside, we'll include the shimmer layout that we just created. Ideally, we would have the actual components of the main layout in this file and they would be hidden. Once the data finishes loading, we'll hide the shimmer layout and display the main content. I've skipped this step for this tutorial. If you would like to see how this is done, click on the link in the description below. In the Java file, we would first declare and initialize the shimmer layout. In the on create of the activity, we would use the start shimmer animation function to start the shimmering. Once the data loads, we would stop the shimmering and hide the layout altogether. Let's run the application now. As you can see, the layout that we made appears and the nice shimmer effect starts immediately. You can be creative and make these layouts appealing to the eye. Thanks for watching. Do like and subscribe for more on point videos just like this one.